My name is Walter Harrell, owner of M. Lodris Farm in Fairview, North Carolina. We grow here at M. Lodris blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and apples, and make a line of handcrafted jams and jellies. We are standing in the middle of my blueberry orchard at the moment. We're up on the mountain peak, I'm just shy of 4,000 feet in Fairview. Uh, this was my grandfather's Yupik blueberry orchard, was one of the first uh, blueberry orchards in Western North Carolina. In Lodris is my uh, great grandparents' old farm in general. Uh, my son Andy is actually the seventh generation on this piece of property. In Lodris farm is based on the idea of natural production, meaning that we use no uh, herbicides, insecticides, or, or chemical fertilizers here on the farm at all. In this case, we're here at the blueberry orchard. Things that we do is we provide all of our own fertilizer through rabbit manure that is a byproduct of our rabbit meat production. Because our insect problem here with blueberries is so small, uh, no chemical inputs are necessary to control it. We hand pick each of these 300 and some odd bushes. Uh, this gives us a phenomenal quality berry that we can then use to make our, our jam and jelly. We're also up here throughout the year, mulching, pruning, working these bushes to make sure they're healthy and they're happy and they're ready to provide for us the next year. We've now dropped from about 4,000 feet elevation to about 2,600. This piece of property is actually my great-grandparents' old farm. Uh, and on this piece, we grow blackberries, raspberries, and apples for our preserves. Uh, hormone antibiotic-free rabbit meat and free-range eggs. So here we have about three acres total of brambles, blackberries and raspberries, along with about three and a half acres of blueberries. In an average year here at M. Lodris Farm, we'll produce somewhere around 2,000 pounds of berries, all of which will go to our jams and jellies. We bring each of these varieties of fruits, our, our blueberries, our raspberries, our blackberries, and our apples, uh, all down to our commercial kitchen in Asheville. Our jam making process consists of about two hours for a batch. And we take them and cook the fruit with a little bit of sugar and pectin to make them set. Uh, and, and that yields a jam that's just nothing but fruit sugar and pectin and, and doesn't taste like it needs anything else. So jam production is done in a 40 gallon steam kettle. Uh, we add about 120 pounds of fruit, uh, bring it to a rolling bowl and add sugar and pectin, an enzyme that makes jam gel, keeps it from being blueberry syrup. Uh, bring that back to a rolling bowl and it's ready to bottle. So our jams and jellies with that straight short ingredient list yield a, a product that's very shelf stable. Uh, it, it's good for a year from production and we produce it throughout the year as you need it. So when you visit your local Harris Teeter, uh, you can pick up a jar of M. Lodris Farm Jam in the Meet Your Neighbor section. Thank you for spending time with us here at M. Lodris Farm. We hope you take the opportunity to enjoy our products at your local Harris Teeter. And if you have any questions, please feel free to join us at www.mlodrisfarm.com.